This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this page tear effect using GIMP. And if you'd like to know how you can update GIMP's appearance with these uh, icons here, I'll have a link to that information in the description of the video. And I will also have a link to this uh, torn paper image in the description as well. So go ahead and open that up with GIMP and we'll be good to get started. After we've done that, we want to grab the image we'd like to apply this effect to. If you'd like to use the same image I'm using in the tutorial, I'll have that linked in the description of, of the video as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that and click and drag it into GIMP. And there we have that. Uh, what we want to do now is bring the opacity of that down a little bit so we can see what's going on behind the image. We want to see where this page tear effect is happening. I'm going to grab the move tool over here and I'm going to move the image so that it's positioned where the eyes are going through the uh, the hole made through the torn paper like that. And once we've done that, we can bring the opacity all the way up. And I'm going to take this layer and click and drag it beneath the ripped paper layer. And what I want to do now is you notice there's a little bit of a checkerboard behind here. Uh, I want to fill that in. So I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, first, actually, first, make sure you have your background color set as white, as you see here with me. Um, go ahead and click uh, create a new layer and layer fill type, I'm just going to choose background color. Go ahead and click OK. And I'll just click and drag that beneath the other layer there. And we'll have that set. And what we want to do next is we want to take this layer and duplicate that by hitting the uh, create duplicate of the layer and add it to the image button down here. And I'm going to click and drag that up over the ripped uh, paper image. And I'm going to set the mode to multiply. And what I'll do now is I'll get rid of the color by going to colors, uh, desaturate, and you can just choose whatever you think looks best here. It doesn't really matter. I'll go with um, I'll go with luminosity. Go ahead and click OK. And what we want to do now is get rid of this open area where the page tear is, hap where, uh, is happening because if you if you toggle the view on and off, you notice it's affecting the color and the composition a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, ripped paper layer. I'm going to right click that and go to alpha to selection. And then I'm going to invert that by going to Select, Invert. And then I'll click on the, uh, the model um, image up here, the black and white one, and just press Delete on the keyboard. If you're using Mac, you can go to Edit, Clear. Otherwise, if you're using Linux or Windows, Delete on the keyboard will work just as well. And once we've done that, we can go to Select, None. And what I want to do now is I want to go back... Um, I want to click on this background layer here. If you notice, there's a little bit of a border showing through around the image. So to get rid of that, I'm going to grab the eraser tool. I'm going to grab the softest brush over here, which is hardness 025. I'm going to bring the size of this really big, like you see here on my screen. I have it set to like 495. I'm going to click back on that black and white layer. And maybe I'll make that a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to very lightly brush out the border there so that it kind of fades in. It kind of transitions nicely into the rest of the image. And if you click back on the background layer, you should be able to see, no, that didn't really go through. Let me try that again. I might have to make the brush a little smaller. I might have to make that a little smaller. Try that again. Let me see how that looks. Okay, now, now that looks good. And one final step would be to remove the image from the part of the paper where it's torn. You notice the edges of the paper there? I'm going to toggle that back on. I'm going to use the same eraser, eraser brush. I'm just going to make this a lot smaller. And I'm just going to go and, oops, wrong layer. Click on the uh, model layer and go ahead and just remove some of the image off of that. Uh, maybe I'll make that a little bigger. Off of the torn parts of the paper. Like that. And you might want to remove some of it off of the peeled, the, uh, the peeling part of the paper as well where it looks like there's a little bit of a curl on the page. We'll go like that. Let me zoom out a little bit. Let me soften that up a bit. And I'll click on the background layer so you can see. As you can see, we've finished our effect. So that's how you can go and create a uh, page tear effect using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.